Hello, my name is Leo and welcome to a new day of Daggerfall. Yesterday we were in the sh oh, I forgot how to say it again. Ship Shipwreck. The Shipwreck of Stadzion. Alright, we, we hung out in there for a little while. And then I set off uh, in this direction. <laughs> um, which is what, west? West southwest, that's right. Um, to get to uh, Sentinel. So where am I now? I'm here. Alright, so where did we go today? I was going to read a book because there isn't a lot uh, of stuff that I've found so far. Um, but I'm going to tell a story instead. Uh, but first of all, we came to Gle Glevam Hall, which is just a tiny little shit village with nothing in it. But I didn't start out, I just went on my way. Um, we are now... Where are we now? Oh god, I didn't make it very far, did I? Well... No. But it's still yesterday. Oh, okay. And then I proceeded for some more, and this is where I'm at now, this is where I'm gonna continue my... Uh, tell, tell my story. So it is now about one o'clock in the afternoon, when Cos... set? Wait, is that a prefecture? Oh, I'm here now. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Is that where I want to be? Isn't Sentinel on the tippy tip top? It is. If I'm in Cosinset, then I pretty much want to go directly west from now, don't I? Y yeah, you do. Okay, I've got to change my heading. So I'm going west. I really like the, the trees around here. Get a, you know, get a look at these trees. They're really nice. Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so I'm going to save the game, even though I have really, literally haven't done anything. Yeah, you know. Alright, I'm going to tell a little story of my childhood. Back in the day, when I, um... When I was a high school student, uh, and my mother is a, uh, a a midwife. She's actually uh, I'm not sure what she is now. She's like a nurse manager. She's like she's up in the management now. She's worked her way up there, but uh, she's been a midwife for pretty much her entire adult life, uh, or a nurse at least for her entire adult life. Actually, there's one other thing I wanted to say about this game. I really like the skyboxes. It's raining now and it's all cloudy and shit. But last night, uh, as I was running through this uh, this area, the stars were so beautiful, and the, the skybox was just amazing. It's really nice. I, I remember in Skyrim when you look up at the stars and the skybox in that game was just amazing. I know there were mods there that you could change the skybox so that it was, the moons were freaking the Death Star or whatever. Yeah, ha, it's funny. But um. Uh, no, the actual, the real skybox was amazing. Also, the bottom of these plants kind of looks like hairy testicles. I'm just saying. They kind of look like hairy testicles. Anyway, I really like the sh these trees. I like the, look at this, look at this big ass tree. What is that? It's a weird finger tree. There's this big ass tree, and then you've got these like big palm tree thingy be dudes rock formations, there's all sorts of stuff to look at here. It's not, it's not as boring as, uh, as, uh, Daggerfall was. Daggerfall was boring, especially when it was snowing, because there was just, maybe it's, maybe it's more, maybe it's better up there now. Maybe, I wonder if it's snowing up in Daggerfall. Um, because part of me would say, yeah, there's probably areas that are always, like, snowy, like in Skyrim. But I remember, like, the, the bottom of Skyrim... Well, the bottom of Skyrim is pretty much similar to the bottom of, uh, this game. Although, the bottom of this game is the, um, al -Qaeda Desert, and it's, like, desert. <laughs> well, you say that, but it's not... I mean, it's clearly not deserty now. Why did you stop winning? Uh, I had to... Where, so, like, cause, like, we're, we're here, we're in the foresty area. The, the desert's over there. So you reckon it'll be, like, full-on desert over there? For sure. We're gonna have to go down here. 
I'm sure you have to go down here for some reason. There's probably, like, you know how you had to go to the Dragon Tower Mountains to deliver that message from whatever her name was? You probably have to go to the Alkia Desert for some reason. In fact, actually, we're doing this mission mission for Abuki, which takes us to the Raven Mountains. We did a mission for her, which took us to Dragon Tower Mountains. But yeah, there's probably a mission for Sentinel Guy to go to the Alkia Desert. I, I would actually, and especially when you consider the locations of these dungeons were like the top left corner of the map, the bottom left corner of the map, there's probably going to be one like right here. Something I need to... I hope it's here, because if it's there, it means I have to keep fucking pushing the stupid button that I hate pushing. You want it to be like down here somewhere. It, won't, it probably won't show you the dungeon on the map. There's a dungeon here. It's just a shitty game. Um, temples, towns, rooms. If I, if I, if, yeah, if you're just looking at dungeons, it doesn't really show you much. That is that close? That's still got, yeah. And then down here, it's like a bright, a, a brownie kind of color. But I reckon, yeah, there'll be a dungeon there that you have to do something with. Alright, anyway, back to my story. Yeah, so my mother's been a, a, a nurse, midwife, or whatever, for as long as, as long as, well, as long as I've been alive. Um, and basically her entire adult life. Anyway, um, so we were at school, um, it was grade, I feel like it was grade 8, which I forget how that works out in, in American standards. In Japanese standards, that's like grade, is that like, is that first, yeah, it's first grade junior high school. I think in America, well, I, I looked this shit up on the internet, and apparently different schools have different systems. Some go like, like one or zero, K to, K to six, no, K to, K to seven, I think. No, K to six, and you have seven, eight, and you have nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, you have like four years in high school, which is kind of weird. Um. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think it was grade eight. It was like it was basically it was the beginning of high school, uh, the beginning of adolescence, and we were we were doing like sex ed um, in PE, which by the way I fucking aced that exam. I got the highest score. I basically I don't know if I got 100 percent. I feel like I didn't get 100 percent. I think the one question I got wrong was actually about male reproduction, but I got all the female reproduction stuff perfect. Fucking expert on that shit. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Um, so, it was science. I remember it was science. And, um... We, we, were, we were also talking about sex ed and stuff. And we were talking about... Oh, now I remember. Hang, hang on. Yes, we were talking about... Uh, we were doing a, a... The teacher was talking about contraceptives. And, they had, and he had all the different contraceptives. Like, you know, condoms and the... I IED it's not IED. Wait, what, what's the one that's a bomb? I think that's IED. Oh. The one that's not a bomb. This is some weird fucking things that just go in there like and stick inside the vagina that blocks it's oh it sounds painful. Seriously. I, I guess it's not, but it just sounds painful. Anyway. We're going through all the co the, the, the contraceptives and we're talking about babies and talking about placentas and stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, my, my wife's a midwife. And I went home and I, I, I told her, I was talking to my mom about, you know, what we're, what we're learning. And she's like, hey, do you want a, do you want a placenta? I'm like, what? Do, do, does your teacher, like, want to, like, show a placenta off? Because, like, I can get you one. I'm like, what is this weird backdoor drug deal we're doing here? <laughs> so... My mother got a placenta, a real fucking placenta, from just some mother who didn't want it. Cause some some mothers like, oh God, it's weird, man. My mother told some stories. Some some like parents like eat the placenta, and some like like keep the placenta. Like they they wrap it up like the baby, and they have the placenta and the baby in the crib next to each other. It's fucking weird, dude. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm gonna stop again. So anyway, yes. Um, 
So, yeah, my mom's like, do you want a pizza? So I told the, the teacher, and she's like, yeah, 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 you can get a pizza. Yeah, get us a pizza, that would be awesome. So, I'm sure there was something, at least it was, like, unsanit, like, I'm sure there was, we were breaking some rules here. Some laws or rules at some point here. But, in any case, my mother got this placenta from work. She, I, I was hoping that it would have been in, like, a glass jar. Because I wanted to, like, ride on the bus and, like, show everyone this, like, you know, like, you know, see those, like, the movies where they have, like, the organs in the glass jars. I wanted this weird, sick, like, placenta. I should, oh, I just realized, like, you're about to run out of fatigue. Better, I'll uh, top that shit up. Just be careful we don't actually break this thing, because it's... Oh, it's worn now! Oh, shit. Maybe I should stop using it. Because, hmm. I, maybe I should. Uh, the thing is... Uh, let me just save here. Um, the, the problem that I have here is that, um... If you go to, like, the, the, the Fighters Guild, or, or anywhere, really, and you try to repair it, they can't repair magical items. So I need to bump my rank up with the Mages Guild before... I think the Mages Guild has a guy there that can repair magical items. Otherwise, I won't be able to repair this. And although weight isn't really a problem for me anymore, it is still 15 kilos. And I have another item. Well, to be fair, you should keep both, so it's good to have two. So if one's being repaired, you can freely go out of the town and come back later and pick it up. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, no, you, you're right, you're right. So, I'll, I'll say, I'll, we'll think about that. So, I, I would actually stop using it. Yeah, start using your, your other amulet that you've got. The little green thing, which I think is, you're, you're actually wearing it. I think it's this guy, right? Yeah, so use that instead for a little while. Okay. Uh, anyway, um... What was I doing? What was I talking about? The placenta. So, unfortunately, it was it was in this jar, but it was opaque, and it was all wrapped up in newspaper, so we couldn't see anything. But I had it, I, like, carried it on the bus. <laughs> um, the hour bus ride, I was, like, trying to, like, open the, the paper to see inside of it, but it was opaque, and we couldn't see inside. That was, that was a bummer. But then, yeah, I, I took it to the, my science teacher, and the science teacher, like, took it out back, and I guess quote-unquote prepared it um and at the time i was um i was kind of lucky i was using a laptop in my in my lessons uh because i was having issues with my wrist writing with my wrist so i actually got a laptop um and i was typing shit so i used it was, this is like an ancient fucking laptop a laptop that had like a gig of memory um it had a cd yes it had a cd rom <laughs> just um it weighed a fucking ton, um, and it had Windows 95 on it, I believe. <laughs> uh, it had, the USBs were not a thing. Yeah, it was, this is like back in the ancient days. Um, but I, it did have a microphone, and I was able to really shittily record the experience. Unfortunately, I don't have that recording anymore, which is a bummer. But, um... Yeah, uh, mainly because I have no real way to get it off of the laptop, which I don't think I have anymore, but, like, even if it is still on that laptop, I don't have a way, there's no such thing as USB drives, I'd have to, I'd have to put it onto a floppy disk, right, because it doesn't have, it has a CD-ROM, but it doesn't have a CD burner, so I'd have to put it onto a floppy disk, but then, computers these days don't have floppy disks, so I'd have to get, like, a, I think my mum has one, like a USB floppy disk drive, and use that to put it onto my computer. Uh, but like I said, I don't think I have the computer, and I don't think I have that sound file either. Um, but yeah, I, I recorded the like the kids' reactions when the teacher like opened it up, and there was just this placenta, this disgusting just blob of meat, just sitting on the like the desk on the on the, on the teacher's desk. That was great. So yeah, I took a placenta to school. Talk about show and fucking tell. Tell you what, what time is it now? It is getting on there, so we might wrap this episode up. And uh, we come back tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll have something more interesting to talk about. Uh, to, to show you, rather, in the game. 
Uh, otherwise, uh, we might be reading a book, or if I can think of another interesting story. I think, yeah, I need to conserve these books. If I go and read all these books, I'm going to have fucking nothing to talk about. So, I'm going to see if I can write down some ideas for some interesting stories that I can think of. Like my placenta stories from today. So, we'll, we'll see. If, we'll see. If, uh, yeah, if nothing interesting happens in the game, uh, I might tell you an interesting story. Uh, but I'm going to stop here. I'm going to save the game again. Even though I literally did nothing. But no, that's not true. You, you didn't literally do nothing. You did something. You're, you're, move, you're making progress. It is true. It is true. You're holding down the fucking zero key on your numpad. I don't know why you're doing that. Why aren't you using the your little money box thing that just holds it down for you? It's so much easier. Well, whatever. Uh, in other news, though, um, I uh, I've recorded some new episodes for um, uh, Corpse Party. So um, I believe um, we're going to be all done with um, our no no uh, mother base playthrough of Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain next week. So next week, uh, at the end of next week, we'll probably uh, have some episodes of Crime Crackers. Uh, my really half-assed, phoned-in effort of playing Crime Crackers. Um, yeah, it was kind of a, a shame. But, uh, I mean, if you would like me to make it, I don't want to stab it, let me know and I'll, just, I'll do it. But, uh, I just, that, there's some Crime Crackers for you. Uh, and then the week after that, I think we'll, we'll do some Corpse Party. And I do need to get, um... I need to re-download um, A Bard's Tale because uh, I've already don't want me to play that. Uh, but I, I need to get that um, get that downloaded so I can play it again. Uh, Alright, so uh, I will I will stop now uh, once again. And uh, yeah, uh, my name is Leo and I'll see you next time.